Coach, you've been out hard on the recruiting trail, and it's great to see some guys come in mid-year. Yeah, we've got six mid-year signees, and you know, a lot of times it's the uh, junior college guy. But this year we have two prep school players that uh, uh, came in, and then three early high school graduates. Uh, Jeremy, um, um, you know, it is uh, even though we've been on the road, we're actually in a four-week dead cycle with a holiday bowl season, and even next week when we're having the American Football Coach Association meeting in Indianapolis, which again is great for the state of Indiana, the high school coaches, the local coaches, and the Super Bowl's been here, the Big Ten Championship. Now we're having the National Coaches Convention for football in, in Indy, but that means it's a dead recruiting period. So uh, recruiting's been a little by phone and by Facebook, and uh, but to get these mid-year guys, they've all had committed for the most part, and for whatever that's worth, they've been accepted. We can only bring in six. You can only replace someone that has graduated. Not someone that's graduating, but their school is completely done. If someone is injured, but he's on scholarship, he stays on scholarship for the whole for the whole year. Uh, so we had six open spaces. Now we filled it with three offensive linemen. Jeremy, I think to me that's critical because last year we took none. We took zero. DeAndre Heron, a young man uh, coming out of Avon. Uh, originally a guy we recruited in our very, very first class, recruited him hard, didn't push him to offer because we thought his grades might mean he needs to go to JC, has done well and graduated in a year and a half and over three points. So he's growing up, maturing as a student, 325, 30 pounds at 6'5". I think he's going to be a great guard. Has a red shirt year. I think he plays inside, maybe tackle, but has a red shirt year. So three years to get two years of eligibility for DeAndre. Uh, Timmy Gardner. Another kid recruited a year ago, very hard of Lawrence Central. He signed with another school uh, in the Big Ten. Didn't work out there. Went to prep school. Has done a great job there. Was rated as the third best prep player in the country. Was a four-star recruit to get him into a class. Now, because he did sign within our league, he will need to be redshirted next year and, and basically can't play. So uh, those guys are kind of future inside players, whether DeAndre's playing next year, Timmy, two years from now. But in our development line, which we're getting good at that position, love those two. The third one, Delroy Baker, a very athletic, highly rated player out of Florida. Coach Fry had ties to him and his coach. Got on him early. He's a great student, 290 pounds, six six give or take, can run, smart. Really like the 3-0 lineman, Jeremy. Uh, tied in, Jordan Fuchs, basketball player, had 15 D1 basketball offers, committed to Rutgers, fell in love with football his junior year, played football to get tougher as a basketball player. And an all-city basketball player, I think, at Christ the King School in New York, but fell in love with football. Went to Milford, actually committed to another Big Ten school. We got on him when we went to see Timmy, and we fell in love with the tight end. Ted Bowles are leaving, pretty good get for us, I think. The last two guys we've got um, – uh, Xander uh, Diamant, quarterback, a mid-year kid, not signing a quarterback next year. I think it's a quality take. Had him at camp, have seen him in person since then, live arm, can run, make all the shots. He's like Trey Roberson, a kid coming in. We're going to have to get him a little bit bigger and get him to that 190, 200 range, but a strong arm, fast arm, great athlete, great player, a winner. Love him as quarterback, not taking a QB next year. Another good fit for us. And the last one and losing some receivers, um, Dominique Booth top kid in the state to get him and to get him mid-year, huge get for us. Now, we're going to sign 25, and we've got 19 more to go, and we're on some good guys, but this is a great start, and we got to finish strong with this class this year.